We'll start off with Zeus and Hera. Zeus and Hera make up the third Heros Gamos, that's Greek for the sacred marriage. The third sacred marriage. The first one is Uranus and Gaia, the second one is Cronus and Rhea, and now Zeus and Hera. Zeus, the Romans called him Jupiter. I'll explain that to you. I did already. I'll explain it to you in just a minute. He's the god of the sky, lightning, and justice. There you see a statue of Zeus. He's holding a lightning bolt in his hand. It's supposed to be a lightning bolt anyway. His hand. The best theory, and I think it's a very good one, about how uh, the Greek gods got to the Roman gods is that Rome is a, is a very young civilization. I mean, of course, the Roman DNA is as old as everybody else's, but it's a very young culture, very young civilization. And um, all they have are a bunch of animistic gods. You remember, by, you know by now that animistic gods are kind of boring and dull. They don't do anything. The clock just sits on the wall. Until we get to anthropomorphic gods like Clockzilla, who do all kinds of exciting things, the clock is just clock. It's just kind of boring. <clears throat> so the best guess here, and why the Romans and Greeks have different <coughs> gods, have to, many of them have different names, some of them have the same name, is that uh, the Romans had an animistic sky god they called Jove. And then they found out about Zeus, who has all these cool stories about him, and so they just kind of asked Zeus to come over and, and fill in for Jove. And so they adopted the stories about Zeus, they put Job's name to them, and, um, and Zeus just kind of slides over and becomes one of the Roman gods. The Romans also called him Jupiter. I think I explained this to you in more detail at some point, but um, someone speaking Greek, I'm sorry, someone speaking Latin who tried to pronounce the, the Greek name Zeus would say Zhu. They would soften the Z sound and drop off the S sound, so they would say Ju. Pitcher is related to the Latin word for father, and so Jupiter is a way of saying Father Zeus. So Jupiter is actually acknowledging, I mean, the name Jupiter is acknowledging that Zeus is in fact the god they're talking about, but they also call him Jove because um, they're used to referring to the sky god as, uh, as Jove. We're going to learn an awful lot about Zeus, or I'm going to write off to Hera, actually the second wife. The Romans called him, I'm sorry, the Romans called her Juno for much the same reason. They had an animistic sky goddess named Juno. And so they borrowed the stories about Hera and stuck, um, stuck them into the story. Sometimes the Greeks also called Hera Urania, meaning the daughter of Uranus, whom the Romans called Saturn. And so as you see, the Romans just called her Saturnia, the daughter of Saturn, whom the Greeks called Uranus. You see that little twist there? So occasionally you'll be seeing this, the name Saturnia, but, but you'll know who, who it's talking about. Um, Hera rides around in a chariot pulled by peacocks. Peacocks are associated with Hera. Hera likes peacocks. That's how Hera and Zeus um, finally hook up with each other. Who's the picture next to it? I don't know. Um, Mercury? No, it's not Mercury. I know why you're saying that. No, it's not. No. Um, I'm not, I'm not quite, quite sure. It, um, because I, th I thought that was at first too, but there's no wings at the top. I'm not sure. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you so very, very much. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't know. Although Zeus is already married to another wife, he's attracted to Hera. This is not going to become a strange story to you. Um, and uh, but Hera wants nothing to do with Zeus, but Zeus knows that um, that uh, Hera likes peacocks, so he turns himself into a peacock and he kind of he goes like this with his wing and his leg, like oh I'm I'm hurting so bad I'm a pretty little peacock over here and I'm picturing somebody. And Hera goes oh no oh no no and she picks up the peacock and goes oh peacock poor little peacock poor little peacock. 
this, then Zeus turns into Zeus and smooth move. Do you think that's a smooth move? I'll turn myself to the You need help. You need help. 